Do you ever consider risks around large uh, model labs, you know, changing their processing structure as they work with you? Do you have to be prepared dynamically for what that could do to impact your business? I guess there's two components. One is that the direction of travel is always going to be cheaper. If yeah. someone came out with a new model and they said, guess what? It's more expensive. Yeah. That, that's not going to be very popular. And so I wouldn't be a model people picked. Yeah, uh, I think so. Um, and so from a cost perspective, everyone's just expecting that everything will just get cheaper from, from a competitive standpoint. Yeah, sure. These are big companies. They want to be trillion dollar companies. They need to do all the things. I think where it gets really interesting is to see companies build their own models. You know, our, you know, Finn is a a cluster of, I don't know, 15 or 16 different models. Yeah, you've They're, been in the weeds building models too, yeah. That's right, but originally many of them were the third parties from mm -hmm. OpenAI and Cohere and others, and bit by bit we've started to replace them ourselves, which helps with our margins also, and then helps us kind of innovate together. So it'll be, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where AI application companies go in general. Do they continue to run on the third parties that are going to want to compete with them to some degree over time, or do they take their own path and um, you know, create some independence for themselves?